Let's look at rational exponents. For m and n natural numbers and b any real number, we have the following. That b to the m over n is either one of these. We can either take the nth root of b first and then raise that to the nth power, or the other way around. We can raise b to the nth power and then take the nth root of that. However, note that b cannot be negative when n is even. Otherwise, we'd be taking the even root of a negative number, and we know we cannot do that. So when are we going to use the first method, and when are we going to use the second? Let's see an example. Let's say we wanted to compute 8 to the 2 thirds power. If we use the first method, this is equal to 8 to the one-third power whole thing squared and the cube root of 8 is 2 so this is 2 squared which is equal to 4. Now if we use the second method we would first square the 8 so this is 8 squared to the one-third power which is equal to 64 to the one-third power and the cube root of 64 is 4. So it doesn't matter, they're the same, right? So you can use either method. But in some cases, we'll want to use one method over the other. For example, let's say we wanted to compute 27 to the 4 thirds power. We most definitely would want to do it this first way. Namely, this is equal to 27 raised to the one-third power, and then that whole thing raised to the fourth. And we know what the cube root of 27 is, right? That's 3. So this is 3 to the fourth power, which is equal to 81. But if we tried to use a second method, we would have to raise 27 to the fourth power and then take the cube root of that. It is much more difficult, right? Because what is this? It would be more challenging this way. So it's sort of case specific on when you'd use which method. All right, what about rational exponents that are negative? What we do is we take 1 over b to the positive m divided by n. And then we do what we did before. For example, let's say we wanted to compute 9 to the negative 3 halves power. By this, this is the same as 1 divided by 9 to the positive 3 halves power. Now the question is, which method would we use to compute this denominator? Would we compute 9 cubed raised to the 1 half power, or 9 to the 1 half whole thing cubed? This here is much more promising, isn't it? Because otherwise, we would have to compute 9 cubed. All right, so what is... 9 to the 1 half power. That is equal to 3. And 3 cubed is equal to 27. All right, so this denominator here then is 27. Therefore, our answer is 1 divided by 27. And this is how we work with rational exponents. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.